I never really thought I'd end up in the middle of the war, but didn't really understand how. Politics was never my thing, and guild rivalries were always over my head. I had my own problems, more along the lines of acne and girls. Now I look back, I realize the fact not much was going on in my life was a good thing. There was always someone around to talk to. We didn't have to do a thing. Then one day, the soldiers came and got me and a bunch of other guys from around there. They wanted us for the company. At first, I was proud of my soldier uniform and the weapons they gave us. Then I caught on. War's got nothing to do with being a hero. It's just about crawling forward with blood everywhere. Days of searing heat jammed into makeshift, stinking trenches teeming with rats. So tired we could hardly stand but still couldn't sleep. Shaking, thinking what was going to hit us in the night. Nighttime meant marches from hell, stepping in blood and shit. Herded around like cattle by dim-witted officers who kept sending dozens of idiots like me off to get butchered. All the time shouting at us like it was our fault. Idiots who pissed themselves when they saw the enemy blades and cried like babies just thinking about having to kill again. gone on like that for ages, until it was my turn to get killed. Except, I got captured with a bunch of other guys I hardly even knew. They rounded us up and shoved us into a cattle car, jammed in like mutants. And they sent us way over to the other side of the lines. Can't really remember if it was day or night. I completely lost track of time. much lost track of everything. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. Then they shook us out, lined us up, this one guy crying his eyes out. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. He wanted us to clean up. Not such a bad idea. So we had a sand shower. Check it out, guys. Fresh meat. Good to see. I was starting to get tired of fucking the same asses. Hey, you are not bad, dickweed. <laughs> Pretty little girl eyes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah? What do you want? Your share? This bitch is mine. I saw her first. Unless you've got some idea about taking me on, she's mine. Looking for trouble or what? Tough guy, huh? Fucking retard. Ha! If you want to check out the scenery, just set yourself down somewhere. I always like to help people out. Right, guys? Don't know when to stop, huh? You got something to say? Say it! <laughs> Nobody speaks mouse here, dickweed. But if you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. We're not gonna put up with some retard pissing us off. <sighs> not so smart, you know. Coming after me like that. Retards like you need to be put down like dogs. Bet you're an even bigger bastard than me. I get all choked up just thinking about that poor little bitch. Asshole. Forget it, guys. This guy's a skin job. No point staying in the line of fire. Um, thanks for helping me out. Forget it. It's over. Couldn't just stand by and watch him do something like that. You okay? I'm better. Kind of weird, actually. I feel better than I have for a long time. Thanks again. said drop it. Still not over getting caught, huh? Anyway, if you're feeling okay, let's get out of here. This is a death trap. Better not to stick around. Okay, I'm with you. This stuff is finished up. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. You just seem to be spinning your wheels is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy, though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man. Pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise around here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum.
You have fun with her? Hope you didn't spread her too much. Meantime, me and my buddies, we figure we don't like your attitude. You may be a retard, but we're not gonna put up with that kind of shit from a nutcase who don't know good enough to open his mouth when he has to. So, we're gonna party, see? Yep, I see. time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You... you nearly killed them. And what do you think they'd have done to us if we'd been the ones kissing dirt? You gotta be ready for anything around here. Name's Roy. You? Innocent. But aren't you from Aurora? Afraid I am, kid. They called me Temperance back in the day. I figured Roy was better. Virtue names aren't exactly my thing. All right, I... I think I understand. You're kind of out of place. How'd you end up here? I was recruited, then there was the war. We were captured a while ago, and... You know, I... Uh, I didn't even know there were camps like this. It's just a POW camp. We're not treated that bad, but you gotta watch out for the others, like you saw. That said, I figure I'm leaving. Think you can help me out? Leaving? Escaping, you mean? You think you can? Can't do it on my own. But with an extra set of hands. Huh. Let's go to the mess. I think we need to have a talk. Without interruptions. All right, I'll follow you.
Hey, Roy, just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Huh, thanks. Let's find somewhere quiet to sit. chance to talk. I heard about the fat guy. Takes balls, I gotta say. Apparently the guy pissed himself. I'm Jay, and if I can do anything for you, I'm Roy. Actually, I just wanted some information. I knew it. I knew it. Come on, give, man. Know your way around weapons? Like all of us, I guess. I was only a scout, though, but I had one, you know? Even if it's not my specialty. So what's your specialty? I get what I need to start off with. I make some things, collect others. I know where to find stuff, who to trade with, including for services. And also, for information, buddy. That's what you're here for, right? You can say that. You know the guards here? Of course. I'm one of those who has been here the longest. I was a scout and got caught at the start of the war. You know, in the end, they're just like us. They're the good guys and they're the assholes. Bob's a great guy, for example, but you already know that, right? Yeah, he's not like the others. The rest of them really play by the book. Abundance has these ideas. Oh, don't try and tell me you prefer Aurora's bullshit. Or you wouldn't be called Roy, right? And they're scared shitless of their Technomancer. They obey, yeah. Maybe more than us, too. Gotta say, their system's pretty strict. And they're scared shitless of their Technomancer. He's called Sean. Not the most laid-back guy in the world, but... What do you expect from a Technomancer, huh? You're not kidding. You 
got news from the front? A couple of bribes by the new arrivals. Seems there was this big battle at Green Hope. Real carnage, my man, and that's the truth. And who won? Same as ever, buddy. The ones who send bastards like you and me to die for them. Whoever won ain't gonna change much for guys like us. Anyway, seems our guys won this time. General's wisdom and honor have apparently pushed things in favor of Aurora. Hmm. You think it could mean the end of the war? Yeah, but not for us, buddy. It'll be months before we get back home. If Abundance even sends us back, of course. That's it for now. Thanks for the tip. the fat guy. Hey, Roy. So, I heard you took that fat guy down. Yeah, he asked for it. So the kid and me gave it to him good. Hey, good one, buddy. You too, kid. That fat pile of shit had it coming. Absolutely right on, guys.
never saw a dog attack like that before. Yeah, that's strange. Looks rabid. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to talk to the kennel master. Thanks for helping out, Roy. We'll take over now. Sorry. The dog attacked you, really? I don't understand. Usually, the by the way, I heard you kicked ass with that fat guy and his gang. It's true. And to be honest, he got off easy. You know, even if my comrades had to get involved, I really think most of them are glad you did what you did. I know that even with you people, this guy would have ended up in front of a firing squad. But here you're prisoners of war. And playing cop? Not your role, really. Even if that guy is a real bastard who should have never been in the army. If I understand right, you're happy, but you, you think you gotta preach. Do you, you know what that fat guy wanted to do to me? I know, but it's our responsibility. If I'd thought you wanted to participate, I'd have called. But to be honest, kicking his head in was something I just really had to do. <laughs> that makes you laugh. Anyway, as far as taking part goes, I might have turned it down. Uh, gotta go. My cop schedule's kinda full. Yeah, don't get too smart. Not all the guards are as nice as me.
find my parts? Yep, here. Everything you asked for. Oh, hey, great. They should have given me an assistant like you. Here's some serum. It's all I can give you without running into trouble. Still need parts? Not just now. I'm getting back to work now. All right, then. See you.